The memory that I have of him that's burnt is the uh, game six when I was in uh, OKC. Right. Oh boy, just showed up. Yeah, it was that was tough. Whenever you see a, a, a player, um, especially one that's uh, had an extended period of time, just seeing them come back from injury, bro, is like that's just amazing in itself. It'd be great for the game, man. Uh, you know, Clay is. I've always been a big fan of Clay. Uh, just you know how he carries himself. How competitive he is is always fun playing against him, but you know, just that Splash Brothers, you know, the, the league need that. It was sad that he missed two years. I couldn't imagine, you know, what what I would feel or how I would respond to having to, you know, sit and watch two seasons at this at this point in my career, like his point, the point in his career that he had got injured. But it'd be great to see him back out there, man. I remember, I remember he had a hell of a series. He was hooping, he was balling. But he came out, you know, I think it was game six, and they called him game six clay. He was performing like game six clay. And um, unfortunately, we, we both went up. He we went for a dunk. I went to block the ball, and he came down awkwardly. I yeah, haven't seen him in top 75. He was snubbed, but um, I think he'll come back as a top 75 player. I've been playing against Clay since, co uh, since college. Um, even in college, he dropped 45 on us. So, um, yeah, I always had, it just, that always kind of stays in the, in the back of my mind when you play them. Great for the league, man. It's great. He's one, one of the best to ever do it at his position, obviously. Um, been a staple in the league for the past 10 years or whatever, so, um, I mean, whenever you're missing a guy of his caliber, it's, it's kind of at a detriment to the game. I played against Clay, but I remember um, when I was in Chicago, when he was in Chicago, and he lit us up for, you know, like, he had 40-something in the first half or something, something ridiculous, something very, a very Clay Thompson-esque stat line. Last time I played against Clay was, unfortunately, the 18 finals. Uh, didn't go great, so... Uh, but now, nah, look, the whole league, you know, including myself, is looking forward to him getting back on the court. You know, he's just one of those guys that you truly enjoy watching play the game because he does it the right way, um, both offensively and defensively. Um, you know, I'm glad this is our third matchup with them. We're playing right now, so I don't got to deal with him too much this year. But uh, no, nah, excited to have him back. Welcome back, Clay. Clay Thompson is a competitor at first, uh, one of the best shooters in this league. Um, and, you know, it's just great. It should be, it'd be, it'd be amazing to, you know, play against him and see how I, you know, you know, uh, go against, you know, one of the best um, out there. And I personally think that he's top seven, whatever that NBA 75 is. I personally think that he's on there for sure, 100%. Everybody around here is super excited to see him get back on the floor. Um, the last time I shared the floor with him was in uh, preseason last year. Um, we, played, we did some three-on-three -three stuff. He was, like, almost all the way back. Um, so to see that hunger that you know, that was sparked within him to have that small setback. Um, you know, I'm, I'm really excited to see him return to the team, see what he brings to the Warriors. Um, you know, he's gonna he's gonna raise the bar and up the level of this team. And I remember playing against him plenty of times, uh, especially when I was in Denver. Uh, we, we used to play against the Warriors a lot. And I mean, everybody knows what he brings to the table. Um, one of the best shooters to ever play the game. And, uh, you know, happy to see him, uh, you know, being close to coming back, you know, the game. Uh, you know, missed him being out for so long, so looking forward to him being back on that court. Clay's one of the all-time great shooters, you know. Uh, he's great, he knows his, uh, his spots, he knows how to get his stuff off. He's great off uh, pin downs, um, you know, so sticking with him, staying with him uh, was always a challenge because he's such a, a quick trigger on his shot and he's so accurate. He don't need much time space to get his feet set. Uh, you know, it was definitely tough seeing him go down. He went down here um, on the home floor, I remember. Uh, yeah, so I mean, it's always tough seeing guys go out with injuries like that. But uh, you know, yeah, I mean, he's he's one of the best to do it. Big name, big name player, big time player. Um, the anticipation of him coming back, especially uh, here in San Fran. You know, I know the crowd's gonna go crazy. Um, the league is gonna be happy to see him back. Um, you know, we just pray and hope that he can stay healthy. Um, continue to work on the things that he needs to work on in terms of his health, uh, so those injuries don't happen again. You know. Um, but I think it's gonna be good. Every time you get a, a big time player back, I think the the, the viewership goes up. You know, to, to having an exciting player to watch and want to be a part of and uh, experience playing the game at a high level.